Hello, this is Dustin with Diesel Laptops. Today I'm going to show you how to perform and view a trip recording of your ECM with the IDC5 software. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get connected to our vehicle. We have an international ECM here, so I'm going to pick international with an international engine. And then once you get to the self-diagnosis screen, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom to this trip data recorder. Then we're going to click to open it up and click start to get connected. Click confirm and then we have to confirm that the ignition is on as well. So confirm the ignition is on and it's going to bring us to a screen where we can see the ECU info. You've got some information in here and then we can go to settings and we can go to this trip data recorder. So I'm going to click on here and click start and it's going to give us a little bit of a help file it tells us what it is and it also tells us where the uh, data recorder program is going to keep the file. So we can click confirm and it's going to tell us we need to have the you know engine off and the key on while it gets connected and reads the data. And we'll let it load really quickly. Once it loads up, you're going to see the trip data recorder. And then it's going to ask us if we want to open up the downloaded file with Texas Trip Data Reader. So if we want to, we can view it this way. Uh, we'll just click on yes, and it's going to open up Texas Trip Data Reader program. So once that loads up, you can see we've got our engine type, our VIN number, and then if you scroll down, you can go through our trip information. So it saves that in a CSV formatted file. So we can't really do a whole lot except for view it in this program. So we're going to go back and look at different ways that we can view this information. So we can see here that the file has been saved in the Exchange Manager under the Out folder and the Trip Data Recorder folder. So what we can do is we can go into the Exchange Manager and we can open that file up. So I'm going to go back to the desktop and open up the Exchange Manager for Truck. And we can go to the Out folder and then the Trip Data Recorder. So here is our file that we actually just saved. It's a CSV format, so if we want to, we could open that in Excel. So there's also a couple other different ways that we can view the file. We can actually save this in a PDF format by going to the print icon up here at the top. And we can click on print when it comes up. Click on print and then we'll go to the Microsoft print to PDF. So then we can just click print and save that as a PDF document. And also the last way to view and save this file is to use the Diesel Laptops All Scan Trip Data Reader program. So we'll go ahead and open it up. And you can see we've got a spot here. You can actually add your company's logo into it. So if you want to send that to a customer. Um, we can save and print. So we'll open up the file and it's going to bring us to the Exchange Manager again. We can pick our recording. And now we have our trip recording in here. And we've got the menu here to the left where we can kind of narrow down the individual parameters and look at everything. So and again we can print that out. Uh, with your company logo on it. You can save it as a PDF. So those are the couple different ways that you can use the trip data recording to view, save, and print. I hope you found that helpful and thank you for watching.